this the field of eight in the men's 400 meters T47 final, and there's no Gunter Matzinger disqualified for a full start yesterday. The previous world champion from Austria, but we do have Alexei Kotlov, the European champion, and his predecessor. Adonis Resti of Cyprus in this, the former world champion from 2011. Strong field in this, Noor Ahmed Akal of Turkey. I finished 11th in the 400 metres last year. Originally a footballer, but with limited opportunities in his area in Turkey, went into athletics and hasn't looked back. For Italy, Riccardo... Baghini, his first major championship, Swiss born. Gunning for Tokyo in 2020. And he finished second in his semi final for Lithuania. Adrias Alsbergis is 21 and a prospect. So here he is, the European champion. Previously, European 800 meters champion as well for Russia. Won his semi final, Alexei Kotlov. Winning the other semi-final for Cyprus, his country's first ever Paralympic Games medalist from 2008, and Donis Aresti. Second in his semi-final from Turkey, man who finished sixth in this in the last Europeans in Swansea, Behram Yilmaz. That's the first major championships for a man who had qualified for the 2012 Paralympics but missed out through injury. It's El Bomber for Italy, Giovanni Mazzetti. And also a first major championships for Austria's Paralympic student of the year for 2015, Alexander Potocic. Kotlov in four and Resti in five. Marks. Wasn't in Swansea. Kotlov definitely was on top of the podium as well. That was his second European title. It's gone on since then to world glory. Bronze in the 400 meters in Doha last October, and also bronze in the 4x1 there in what's traditionally a strong Russian squad. Set. Away first time, solid start from Kotlov, as you'd expect, and also Patochin of Austrian lane eight has fired away right from the start. Aresti's going well in the two middle lanes. It's Kotlov and Aresti going brilliantly, and Patochin in eight has flown away in the outside lane. They'll catch up with him shortly. Kotlov looks like he's overtaken everybody at this stage. Absolutely flying, Kotlov. Milias at the moment for Turkey, trying to struggle to keep up. Just look at the gap between the top three at the moment. It's Kotlov and Aresti in the middle lanes, they've overtaken Patochin, who was excellent in the first 150. Still trying to defend third place at the moment. Kotlov looking to successfully defend his European title. And in the closing straight, here he comes. Alexei Kotlov for Russia. Aresti trying to run him down in the final 50, but it will be Kotlov to take the gold. Aresti in second place, and Patochin brilliantly takes third for Austria, with Akal fourth for Turkey. 49.81, the winning time, unofficial, that's very, very fast indeed. And Alexei Kotlov retains his crown in brilliant style. Season's best for Kotlov, 49.95, his best before. And he's uh, very satisfied about a job well done. The European champion looking, looking in great shape. Patoch, Snig, the Austrian on the outside, flew out of the blocks. Running blind, of course, but by the time they got to the second band, it was really starting to hurt him, although he would ultimately hold on, I think, for third place. But Kotlov here, he'd done the damage to the rest of the field. Aresti, 33 years old now, the Cypriot, the former world champion. He's looking strong there, and if anything, in the closing stages, may have been slightly closing on Kotlov, but Kotlov, 22 years old, did what was required into that headwind down the straight. It was starting to hurt there, but he's, win he's won it by a really significant margin. 49-81, Aresti in second place for Cyprus, a lifetime best for the men in three and four in the far-off lanes for Toching and Akal.